Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. Let's learn more about rocks in this lesson. We're on lesson five. Let's use a rock. But be careful when you use rocks, okay? Don't use rocks in the wrong way. But let's see how we can use rocks. We're going to focus on we use rocks in many ways. Okay, let's take a look at this subject. Of course, nowadays we don't really use rocks a lot, but people long ago, a long, long time ago, people long ago made tools with rocks because they didn't have metal. They, didn't, they couldn't go to the store and buy tools. They had to make tools with rocks. And you can see many different kinds of tools here, right? Uh, we'll talk about these different kinds of tools that they made using rocks. So let's take a look. Number one, the sharp end of an arrow. The sharp end of an arrow. What do we call that part right there? That is the arrow head. Of course, we know what a head is, right? The head in our body. But think about an arrow, right? This is the arrow. This is the end, right? Like this is the end of my body, the front end, right? This is the end. So this is the head. Arrow head. Remember, arrow, this is the arrow here, right? This is the head. So the sharp end, it's very sharp end of an arrow is called arrow head. Arrow, arrow head. Put it together, arrow head, arrow head. Okay, let's move on. Number two, what type of tool was this? A tool used for hitting nails, nails into walls, right? You use this and of course it's called a hammer. A hammer is used to hit nails into walls. So if this is a hammer, this is my nail, right? Duk, 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 duk. I'm pounding it into the wall. Be careful using a hammer. Book, ow! You don't want to hit your finger, right? So the hammer is used for hitting nails into walls. Okay. Number three, something that can help you to do what you want. Something that helps you do what you want. This uh, boy here wants to drink milk. So he or she, I'm not sure boy or girl, needs something to help them. And this is the glass, right? So the glass is what? What can we say the glass is? Without the glass, trying to drink milk, you know, that's very sloppy, very messy. So the glass is useful, useful. Okay, a glass is useful. A tool is useful. It can help us do what we want to do. It's useful. Number four, do you know him? Of course you know him. He is very what? He's very famous, right? We know he's Tiger Woods, known by many people. Everybody knows Tiger Woods, right? He is very famous, okay? So if somebody is known by many people, that person is famous, like sports stars, movie actors and actresses, singers, okay? These people are famous. Number five, we were talking about tools, right? That's what we're talking about here, tool. These are different kinds of tools, something that we use to build or to fix things. We use all these different kinds of tools. We can see paintbrush. Paintbrush helps us to fix things or to make things look nice. Here's our hammer, right? Before we were talking about a hammer, there's a hammer right there, right? These are pliers. I'm not going to do all of them, just a few of them, but pliers, right? What's this here? Cha in Korean, right? Cha, you say ruler, ruler. So there are many types of tools. These are all tools. Tools have many different types, many different names, many different uses. All these tools are very useful for doing what we want to do. Six, ooh, be careful. Right, that, right, that could be very what? That could be very sharp, right? Able to cut easily. If you have a knife, a knife is another type of tool. 
a knife is a tool. Be careful with many tools, right? Don't use them in the wrong way. Uh, a knife is very sharp. It's able to cut something easily. So if you cut tomatoes or you cut meat, right, it, your knife should be sharp. Be careful with a sharp knife. Seven, this is another tool. It's an interesting tool. You use it with a hammer, tuck, 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 and you move it along wood, or you can move it along stone, and you can make uh, the wood into a certain shape, or the stone into a certain shape. What do we call this tool? We call this tool a chisel. Not chisel, don't say that. Chisel, okay? Ch, we have C-H, ch, and S-E-L, sol. Chisel, chisel, okay? So it's two sounds, chisel, chisel, okay? So that's what we call this tool used to shape, to make a wood or stone into different shapes. Okay, next, number eight. Oh, ooh, be careful. She doesn't have pants on. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is a statue of a long time ago, right? I just said what it is. It's a statue. A statue is a rock. This isn't a person. It's a rock. It was made to look like a person. Wow, that's amazing. The person who made this statue is a really, really good artist. The person who made this statue used a chisel and a hammer to shape this rock into a shape that looks like a person. And we call that a statue. 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 Not at you. Oh, bless you. Not that statue statue okay so it's a statue okay next one number nine Ooh, what's going on here can you see this little boy or this little girl right it's hard to <laughs> you know you're looking oh there he is I found him to discover to find somebody to find something maybe this boy or girl is looking for something ah yogita or chogita I found it right you found it. Chogita, there it is. Okay. Or Yogita, here it is. I found it. Okay. Be careful with find. Find is an irregular verb, it changes form. Find, found, found. Find, found, found. Can you find your books? Yes, I found my books. They are here. Okay. Next one. 10. To send something through the air, right? This boy, what did he do with the basketball, right? What did he do? He, well, he, he's going to throw. He is throwing the basketball. To throw is to send something through the air. So if you have a ball, you have a rock, don't throw rocks at people or animals. You can throw rocks at trees or into ponds. Uh, but be careful. You can throw basketballs, right? Sports is many sports, they throw the ball. Throw, of course, changes form. Throw, through, thrown. Whew, okay, one more time. Throw, throw the ball. I threw the ball. Have you thrown the ball? Okay, so throw, through, thrown. Next one, 11, oh, I just said this word, right? A small lake, a small lake, small body of water, a small area of water, not a puddle, not a puddle. This is larger than a puddle. A puddle is very small. After it rains, you have maybe a little puddle of water here, but then the sun comes out and then the puddle goes away. This doesn't go away, this stays here. We call it a pond. But it's not a lake. A lake is bigger, right? You can go swimming in a lake. Uh, don't go swimming in the pond. It's too small. And this pond is a little dirty, right? You shouldn't go swimming in a pond, right? You better to go swimming in a lake. It's bigger, maybe cleaner. I hope so. But ponds are smaller. You know, puddle, chayil uh, chago, right? It's the, the smallest puddle, then dalme, pond, then the biggest. It, well, big, bigger is lake than sea than ocean, right? So many different words to describe 
areas of water. Okay, we're talking about a pond here. A pond. Okay. Twelve. Wow, look at these. These are nice rocks. What do we call these? What's another word? Another word that means the same thing as a rock. We can say a stone. Now, of course, rocks and stones have many different shapes. This is just one shape. These stones, these rocks, are very smooth and flat. I really like to find these rocks, especially when I'm near a pond, because you can throw the rock and it and it jumps on the water. Right? We call that to skip. Skip. Can you skip stones? Right? And we can say skipping stones. Right? They are skipping stones. These are good skipping stones. You take them, you throw them on the water. It hits, bounces, it skips. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's great! If you can make a stone skip five times, that's a really good throw, right? That's a really good throw. Usually, maybe two or three times. Okay, let's continue. Three. What is this here? This is a deep, a deep round dish. There are many kinds of dishes, right? Sometimes you have a dish for your coffee, right? That's just a small dish. A bigger dish, you put your food on it, you eat off it. That's a plate. But if you have soup or stew, like ramen, right? You want to put it inside this. Don't put ramen on a plate, right? It'll go everywhere. A plate is flat. You want to put ramen into this kind of dish. Which is called a bowl, a bowl. Okay, so put your soup, your stew, your ramen into a bowl. Okay. We saw this before. A tool used to cut things, right? When we talked about sharp, we saw another example. Of course, this is a knife. Be careful about the spelling. It's not k knife, andeo. It's knife, knife. The k. Is silent. Shh! Don't say the K. It's just knife. But we spell it with a K. Knife. English is crazy. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Oh, we saw the other part, right? When we talked about this, right? We talked about this part already. This. I'm not a good artist. I'm sorry. This is the arrow, right? Arrow. A weapon. For shooting arrows, but now we're talking about this part, right? What do we call this? We call it a bow. Bow. B. 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 And O. O. Bow. Bow. In fact, it's very common to say bow and arrows. That expression or that phrase is very. Oh, sorry, no S. Just bow. And because you only use one bow, you don't use many bow and arrows. But we say s because you have many arrows, right? They you shoot them. So bow and arrows, or bow and arrow, right? So that's a very common expression because these two things go together. If you just have a bow, no arrow, what are you going to do? <laughs> Hit somebody, right? Now you need the arrow. To go with the bow, bow and arrow. That's the whole、uh, set. Okay, number sixteen. Smooth and even. That's a nice picture, right? We can say it's flat. And of course, we can say about this computer monitor or TV screen. Many people will call them flat screens, right? A flat screen, because why? A long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. Maybe for you a long time ago, not so long for me. Televisions were very fat, right? But now with new technology, televisions aren't fat anymore. They're not deep. They're flat, right? They're very skinny. But instead of saying skinny television, we say flat television or flat screen. It's a flat screen. Okay, so smooth and even. It's flat. Okay, those are our words. Let's take a look at the exercises for the words. Here we want to complete each sentence with a word from the box. So we have many sentences. We have to complete the sentence with a word from the box. 
Let's review our words. First, we have arrowhead. Arrowhead. Next one, useful. Useful. Next is sharp. Sharp. Next is tool. Tool. Hammer. Hammer. Famous. Famous. Statue. Statue. And chisel. Chisel. Okay, let's see how these words fit into the sentences. Number one, a beep is a rock shaped like a person. Remember we saw that uh, um, uh, rock? Many people were looking at it. It was very old. She didn't have pants on. I made a joke about that, right? What is it? What kind of rock is shaped like a person out of these words? Well, here we look around. Ah, we see the answer right there. A statue is a rock shaped like a person. And remember, it takes a very good artist to shape a rock like a person. Number two, be careful, Joe Shimeo, right? Be careful. The knife is, ooh, what, what is it? If the knife is this, it can cut your skin very easily. So be careful. The knife is what? The knife is sharp. By the way, it's interesting. The opposite, pandero of sharp, would be what? We say it would be dull, okay? So a knife can be dull. That means it, it won't cut your skin very easily or it won't cut tomatoes, it won't cut meat. If you're trying to cut meat with a knife, it doesn't cut. This knife is dull. So you need to sharpen it. You can sharpen a knife, make it sharp. But be careful, the knife is sharp. It can cut meat, but it can also cut your skin very easily. Okay, number three. A stone knife is a... A stone knife? That means a stone that you use as a knife. So if you're using a rock or a stone as a knife, what is it? It's not a stone or rock anymore. It becomes what? What are you using it as? You're using it as a tool. A stone knife is a tool. So a knife made of stone or a rock that you use to cut something, that is now not just a rock or a stone, it's now a tool. Okay, so a tool is something that you use to get something done. Okay, next one. Four, you are beep if everyone knows you. So everybody knows your name, right? Uh, everybody knows you, that means you are what? Okay, you are, of course, famous. You are famous if everyone knows you. Okay, number five. Number five starts off, watch out. Watch out is like Joe Shimheo. Before we saw, be careful, right? Be careful, watch out. They mean the same thing. But watch out with an exclamation mark means it's more urgent. Bali, watch out. Bali, Joshim Hale, right? If you say, be careful with this knife, that means later on, be careful. But if you say, watch out, that means chigum, watch out. Right now, be careful. Something's happening. Oh, oh, something's falling. Watch out. A car is moving. Watch out, right? So watch out is like Joshim Hale, but right now, okay? Okay, so watch out. That beep is sharp. What can be sharp here? Well, there's a couple of things that can be sharp, but probably we're looking at maybe this one over here, Aereo, arrowhead, not arrowhead, arrowhead. That arrowhead, arrowhead is sharp. Watch out, right? Be careful if you're going to shoot the bow because that arrowhead is sharp. Be careful. Number six, rocks can be used for many things. We can use rocks used for many things. If something can be used for many things, we can use it for many different uh, things that we want to do. We can say it is useful. Rocks are useful. They can be used for many different things. Okay, number seven. Hit the nail with the what? You want to hit the nail with the what do you use with a nail? Of course, you use a hammer with a nail. 
hit the nail with the hammer. Don't hit the thumb with the hammer. Hit the nail with the hammer, right? Be careful, Joshim Hale. Watch out if you're using a hammer, right? Don't hit your thumb, hit the nail. Hit the nail with the hammer. Eight, a beep is a tool for shaping rocks. We talked about that, right? You use a hammer and you tick, 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 tick. This is the tool that we use to shape the rock, right? We use a hammer and we shape the rock that way. What do we use with a hammer for shaping rocks? We use a chisel. We use a chisel to shape rocks. Okay, well that wraps up uh, the vocabulary section of the lecture. Let's take a short break. We'll come back and we'll look at a reading passage of how rocks are used. Don't go away.